Alright, this is a weekly reading for Virgo. Okay, let's see. Um, five song playlist. Let's do the one on top, which is Motley Crue. Home Sweet Home. Alright, let's get into the reading. Um, those other songs will be listed below in the description if you want to listen to those. Um, let's see. Number one. Your week as a whole is going to be the Nine of Wands, which is um, having your suspicions justified, resilience, not being easily fooled, feeling prepared, a gift, um, grit, last stand, waiting until the time is right. So, Sagittarius Moon. So this could be a passion, um, an emotional passion, maybe. Uh, maybe something else is going on. Um, so, let's see. We have number two. Something unexpected that will arise. Um, Six of Cups. Six of Cups. The past repeating itself. Um, bad memories moving forward. Um, something from the past. Fading away, leaving home, independence, living in the past. So, Scorpio and Sun. So, this could be a, a Scorpio. This could be another water sign, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, you know, it, it, it's just unexpected. <laughs> it's probably a water sign. Um, let's see. Uh, number three. How can you stay grounded and balanced? You have... Let's see temperance in reverse so Sagittarius in reverse so avoidance of conflict being a pushover extremes overlooking the obvious excess outside issues coming into the home lack of balance so there might be a little bit of a a little bit of an issue that you might need to take care of or there might be some other things that need your attention so you might have to stay close to home for a while or actually fix it you know either or so number four we have important emotion you will feel this way we have the high priestess <laughs> that's me 24 7 the high priestess um even when i put my cards away it's like it never turns off Alright, so High Priestess is an increase in intuition, femininity, um, unconscious um, thought, <laughs> inner voice, psychic ability, the ability to predict the future. So, the, it's the moon and secrets, so there could be a lot of stuff going on. You might be tuning in to somebody or something or a situation or the future or <laughs> your own um, higher self, um, which is, you know, in, in dope culture, it would be you getting high, and in psychic culture, it's you meditating, so either or, um, let's see, number five, something that will inspire you, um, princess of cups in reverse, so childish approach, emotional immaturity, fantasy, Insecurity, disappointment, rose tinted glasses. <sighs> Someone who gets their own way. So it's Pisces. Uh, I would say so. But it's in reverse, so it's all like, argh, I'm gonna get it anyway. Tantrums and stuff. So it could be Pisces, it could be another water sign, but I do think for the most part it might be a Pisces. Um, but it's gonna be a fight between them wanting their independence and you wanting them. So it's, um, it, it could also be a Scorpio and it could also be a Cancer too. Um, let's see. So, number six. Um, how your spirit guides will speak to you this week. Um, two of Wands. Two of Wands, uh, discontent with achievements, fear of change, 
playing safe, discovering the grass isn't always greener, getting what you want, and still being unhappy. Bad planning. Um, Aries and Mars. So in your case, an Aries and Mars is kind of like the tower card. There's going to be a change, or there's going to be some abrupt decision that you might not have wanted. Um, just reality. <laughs> it's probably going to be reality. But, um, I do feel like it's going to be something that, you know, you kind of didn't think about. <laughs> um, that's going to happen. So your spirit guides are, are going to get you up to date with stuff. Anyway, we have number seven. Number seven is how to best support yourself this week. Um, five of pentacles. The five of pentacles, an amazing love life, um, good partnership, need, loyal friendships, poverty, a fulfilling sex life, um, happiness and fairs of the heart. Um, insecurity. So Taurus and Mercury. So this is, an, it was probably going to be you. Um, I don't want to laugh, but you know, it's like, I don't know. It's like everybody's gone through some type of depression or like just getting over some things. But, um, let's see. So Taurus and Mercury, it's probably you in like a conversation with somebody. Um, but it's, you know, it's you asking somebody for help, I feel. So, you might have had to swallow your pride. You shouldn't have had pride or ego in the first place. You know, it would have worked out easier. Anyway, so, hopefully everything works out. Maybe a lot of reality. Um, maybe you had to kind of reveal yourself to somebody. I don't know what's exactly going on, but I feel like it's a lot of truth this week for you. Um, so, let's see. Um, Virgo, if you like this video, leave a like. If you like what I am doing on this channel, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. And, um, let's see. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next reading. I feel like this week's going to be a lot of stuff. Um, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit of, you know, you detaching from your ego, which could be a very, um, very hard for you. Um, maybe you work hard. Maybe, you know, you get a lot of funds. And then this week, you're kind of like, uh, I need help. I need help from my peoples. Um, but, you know, your peoples could help you out a lot. So, yeah, you just had to trust it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? Rejection? Please. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. All right? Bye now.